Hello, this is Ms. Carmagno, and this video is going to show you some more advanced features to use with the digital Cornell Notes file. Now, last time we took some basic notes. These were D-level notes. Um, to get A-level notes, uh, you have to do more. Also, I'm going to show you some of the features that you can use digital Cornell Notes um, that you can't use as easily if you're taking notes with pen and paper. So first of all, in order to get an A on your Cornell notes, you need to highlight social, political, and economic. You can refer to my previous videos about how to download this highlighting tool and set it up for social, political, and economic. Right now, I'm just going to show you how you would go about highlighting those things. So the first thing I need to do is to go through my work, the notes that I've taken. Not necessarily the vocabulary, but definitely the body of the notes. And I have to decide which category each thing fits into. Is it a social thing having to do with people, a political thing having to do with war, or an economic thing having to do with money? Now, almost everything in these notes has to do with war because it's about World War I. But I'm just going to quickly highlight things into different categories. And when you do this, it makes you think about the information more carefully. And that makes you remember it a little bit better and learn it faster. So I'm going to start with social things. Now, the fact that women could breathe noxious fumes and lose their fingers could be argued as social. That's an impact it's having on people. And the fact that the TNT poisoned them and turned their skin yellow uh, is also social. Um, the fact that resources were limited and food and supplies were rationed, that is definitely about resources, so it's economic. And um, the fact that women had to take over men's jobs is also economic, jobs being an economic idea. Um, but some of these other things are social. So the fact that women continue to have to care for children is social. And um, that they knew they were the only ones left to work in the factories. So you can make an argument multiple ways. That uh, I'm going to put it under social, however, and everything else is political because it's all related to the war effort. So I have now categorized this information. Oops, too far. And that's the first part of the higher level notes. Now, another thing that's really useful using this tool is you can highlight a particular set of text like TNT in World War One, and use the research tool to get a little bit more about that topic to put into your notes. So I can click research here and it's gonna give me images of TNT in World War One. I can also um, investigate quotes about TNT in World War One although that's not a very good selection, I can go to the web and get everything about TNT in World War I. I'm a visual learner, so I'm going to be putting in a picture, and I'm just going to click on the picture. Uh, it's going to take me to the web page where it came from. I can read more about that information, or I can copy the image and insert it directly into my notes. This will help me learn later because I'll have an image to associate with my notes and that can be very helpful. You may have to adjust some of the things over here to make them line up better with other information that you have in your notes, but that's easy to do. There we go. So those are just a few more things that you can do if you are using uh, the digital Cornell notes and uh, on Google Docs. This concludes this particular lesson. Why don't you take a moment right now to open your own file and try putting in some pictures or quotes from the research tool and see if you can figure out how to make that work. Thank you. This is Ms. Carmagno from Mountain View High School.